With the outpour of Philippine volleyball action these past two weeks, the strength of the Filipina continues to shine on. The Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers and the Chocomucho Flying Titans are up in the running for the top four. A win for Army means that they could stay in the race, and a win for Chocomucho means that they could stay in first place. Creamline and Signal will both be redeeming themselves from their losses, and Creamline wants to remind the fans that they are still the defending champions after all. On the other hand, Signal will want to create an optimistic ending in this conference. As you play out more and more of these elimination round matches, the tension continues to build forth. Who will rise from the pressure and come out as stars? Let's find out live here in PVL on One Sports. Welcome to day number 15 of competitions as we approach the home stretch of your elimination round for the Premier Volleyball League Season 4 Open Conference, the first and only professional volleyball league in the country. Good afternoon. You're watching us on One Sports and One Sports Plus. The action happens at the PCV Social, Civic, and Cultural Center in Bacaray, Locos Norte. Yes! Double header for today, Mega Monday. It will start with match number 31. The Choco Mucho Flying Titans, the only undefeated team in the league, going up against a Black Mamba energy drink, Army Lady Troopers, who are still hoping to scramble for a semifinal slot. While match number 32, the Signal HD Spikers, going up against the Creamline Cool Smashers, who are looking to bounce back from their first defeat of the season. Good afternoon, Philippines. Thank you for watching us. My name is Boom Gonzalez with Mosey Ravenna. Good afternoon, partner. Good afternoon, partner. And a really, really important game for these two teams. Mm -hmm. Because basically, when you talk about the Choco Mucho Fly Flying Titans, they win today. That pretty much, you know, secures mm -hmm. that semifinal spot, especially because they haven't lost. And then, ito namang Black Mamba Energy Drink Army Lady Troopers partner pagka uh, nanalo today pipitik pa ang mm -hmm. kanilang kampanya so to speak that is right so all important game for the lady troopers army is coming off their second win of the season handling PLDT sports uh, four sets the lady troopers need to win every game they can mm. to elevate their record yun nga yung sinasabi natin mas importante sa kanila although Choco Mucho oh, ah, ano, ano nga eh sabi mo undefeated so far and they want to remain undefeated knowing coach oh you know how he is he, he wants the, uh, these girls to be uh, on their toes yeah. you know? and, and he also wants the girls to get better and better every game, although they were really tested. Mm -hmm. Probably the, the toughest test so far of the season. I mean, if you watch that game, you'll know what I'm saying. Because coming into that game, Ozzy, the level of errors or the number that, of errors that they were committing were very low. 7, 18, sure. 11. But in this game, napilitan sila because Bally Pure pushed them to the limit. Even if it's in four sets, they were forced into 35 errors in this match. That's right, Boom, as I was mentioning in the previous games that I called for them, yung little errors na yun, that really helped them win their games, mm. uh, most of their games. Pero dito nga, they were pushed and they had a lot of errors, especially in the first uh, set. Tapos, uh, that's why Balipure took that momentum and got that second set. 
Well, well, it it was a dip, after that. It was a different chocolate mucho. Lalo na yung third. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Third. yes. It has, and no looking back after that. Yung Bali Pure and second set really remind me in their match against Cherry Tigo mm -hmm. na humabol dun sa first oh, pinapos. Ganyan, ganyan. Tapos nakuha yung second. Two very tough sets until they unleashed their self, themselves in that third set and then won in the fourth. 25-21 and their defense was incredible. Their offense was awesome, mm -hmm. obviously. Ponga had her points. Catolentino was crazy good. The blocking was good, but it's all because the backbone of their floor defense was anchored very well by the calm, skilled, <laughs> and the leadership of Denden Lazaro Revilla, who was just amazing. Well, 31 digs and 10 receptions. Amazing talaga, Boom. And that, napag-usapan na natin to, Boom, remember, that uh, Tenten doesn't only bring her skill set you know, with right. her in this team, but she's a perfect fit because it's a young team. And you want to keep them uh, always on focus. Mm -hmm. And see, Denden brings that. You know, there's so much uh, respect for her Correct. that you can see yung trust ng teammates with, uh, with Denden at the defense so it, it, and then more than the skill set it's really her presence that's right but the skill set is also oh, yes. never <laughs> never went away you know 5.76 percent ang kanyang digging she's number two and then 10th in service reception etong si Denden Ate Denden Lazaro <laughs> uh, Revilla uh, but let's get the thoughts of uh, Regine Arocha uh, in that match that tough match that they had against Bali Pure she uh, caught up with uh, Ai Tinsai uh, just earlier so let's listen to that interview malaking tulong din sa amin na kasi syempre naging teammate ko sila so parang medyo alam na din namin yung galaw nila, yung kilos nila and syempre nakakatuwa kasi wala, lahat pare-pares kaming nandito sa pro league na to kahit malayo kami sa family namin um, nararamdaman namin na um, buo kami na we are family kasi yun talaga yung feeling namin kaya um, sobrang saya and sobrang nakakatulong din na yung bonding namin, yung samahan namin, iba. That's Regine Arocha, the two-time NCAA Finals MVP. She scored only five points, but, you know, the wealth was very much spread in that game with Catolentino 25, and then BDL with 10, and then Pongay with 9, Matayag with 8. Today, they're gonna go up against, of course, the Black Mamba, Army, lady, troopers, full of veterans, full of very <laughs> scrappy players, and they want to get this win so that they can stay in contention for that uh, semifinal slot. And we're coming, uh, we're looking at that game against the PLDT home fiver power hitters, who at that time still did not have a victory. Because mm -hmm. in July 29th, and that was match number 25 of your PVL. That's right, PLDT was able to take that first set against uh, the Lady Troopers, but after getting blitzed by Jarel Singh on that first set, the Lady Troopers, din naman, as, as you've said, these are veteran mm -hmm. players, boom. So they will not let that happen to them, na talagang down, ano, the whole, uh, and take that, the uh, PLDT to take that away from, to take that game away from them. So. Again, after the second set, straight na, tuloy -tuloy, and the, the Black Mamba Army was able to take that game. So, si Black, ayun nga, kanina we mentioned no, that itong Lady Troopers, they really need this game mm. against Choco Mucho. Right? And uh, kumbaga, para nandun pa rin sila in the upper portion of our standings. Nandiyan pa, si Coach Kung Fu, eh, umaasa pa as this uh, woman on your screens. Mm -hmm. Honey Royce Tubino versus PLDT, 24 points. And basically, by the way, that victory eliminated PLDT from any yeah. other chance for the semis. No? So, yun din yung isang relevance ng uh, game na yan. But she was the one that I think this is her first 20 plus production in the tournament. And they needed every single one of that, Mosey. Well, we, we've known Royce to be a scorer also in, the, in her collegiate days. But here in this game, 24 points for her and 20 digs. Double-double, na hindi basta-basta. 24 and 20. And uh, in this game, but she will need a lot um, of numbers coming from, uh, well, go, uh, go, Jovelin Gonzaga and Balse Pabayo and Bunag and the rest of the gang to win this over Chocomucho. Well, nabanggit mo na si uh, Jovelin Gonzaga. Yung combination na yun, uh, 
Mosey ni Tubino. As you, you've been seeing Tubi, mm -hmm. uh, Tubino here, she's been focusing in this game. Kanina ko pa nakikita sa warm-up. Ano? Yung combination na yun, 36 kills combined wow. in that last match together with Jovi Gonzaga who scored 17 points here for Black Mamba Army. Um, kailangan na kailangan nila yan. Yes, and uh, they have to really organize their attack, especially with a team like Shokomuchu, who's very strong at the net. Boom. So, kailangan na yung veteran moves nila, I think, will come into play in this match against Shokomuchu. Anong napapansin mo sa gamit kay, uh, gamit kay uh, uh, katulad nila Ging Balsen mm -hmm. off the bench? Anong napapansin mo kay Coach Kung Fu dito sa well, match? Si Coach Kung Fu, kasi kilala-kilala niya na itong mga players na to. So, siguro sa kanya, body language pa lang. Alam na niya kung sino lalaro ng uh, okay. But uh, expect Coach Kung Fu to try a lot of, uh, siguro, his players in this match. Especially, no, kung uh, hindi niya makuha yung, uh, halimbawa, sinasabi natin yung, kasi grabe ang choko mucho when it comes to blocking. Mm, so, right. kailangan makuha niya yung... Uh, Siguro creativity ng mga players in able to score that point. And I'm sure aabangan ni Coach O rin naman kasi yung mga check balls na ini-expect niya na from uh, the lady well, troopers. Okay, magsisimula na tayo. Punta tayo kay Noel Zarate, our competition announcer. Second referee, Elindo Yosebio. And now let's meet the starters first for the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers. Outside striker from the Far Eastern University, number three, Joanne Bunag. Middle blocker from the University of Santo Tomas, number five, King Balse Pampayo. Center also from UST, number seven, Jane Gonzalez. Opposite hitter from Central Philippines University, number eight, team captain, Jovenin Gonzaga. Outside striker from the University of Perpetual Health, number 15, Royce Tubino. Middle blogger from Faith Academy, Batangas, number 16, Luke Malaluan. Study liberal from Rizal Technological University, number 10, Angela Lunag. And the head coach for Black Club Army is Kung Fu Emilio Reyes, Jr. And now the starters for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. The starters from the Ateneo de Manila University, center number three, Dina Wong. Middle blogger number seven, team captain, Melly Matayag. Outside spider number nine, home guy, Gaston. Opposite hitter number 10, Pat Tonantino. Middle blocker number 14, Bea De Leon. Outside spider from Arellano University, number 21, Richie Arroyo. Again, this is match number 31. The starters on your screens for Coach Kung Fu's girls who are at 2 and 3 sa ating team standings. Unbeaten still are the Choco Mucho Flying Titans at 5 and 0. Oh, and they will be led by Kat Tolentino who has been amazing from the offensive point, especially in that last game. She, you know, the, the, last, the first four games, parang chume champo champo pa siya. The point distribution for Choco Mucho was good. And even to the point, Mosey, that nobody was in the top 10 in the uh, top 10 scorers of the league except for Kat, who was at number 10. But in that last game, kinailangan siya. So she yes. came up with those 25 points. She had 85 attempts. You know, kasama na yung scoring, oh, yung mga swiping, oh, lahat na, lahat. Na, mga tulak na. That's how much she had in that game. 25 or 85 attempts, 25 points on 23 kills. Well, you know what's good also? Balikan natin yung interview ni Regine, Regine Arrocha. You know, it's nice to hear that she feels at home with her teammates. You have to remember, si Regine ay mm. bago, no? Dun sa team na to. She's a new player for Choco Mucho, oh, so Choco Mucho. And yet, she, she feels that she's at home, and that's a good sign. And I think... And I think what happened there. Can you hear me well, Mosey? A little, yeah. There, it's a little. Okay, we'll try to get. We'll try to get that fixed. But I think what happened there is. Okay, let me. Let's try to get this fixed first before we continue with our broadcast.
check. Royce Tubino on the line to serve for the Philippine Army. Check in. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, I was about to say, sorry, you were talking about Regina Rocha feeling welcomed here. I think a lot to do with that is that girl on your screens. Her roommate, Cato oh. Latino, has, uh, has enjoyed every single minute of uh, her being roommates with a new player, mm -hmm. with uh, somebody that she doesn't know very well yet. And I think, sabi niya, they, she's become very good friends with Regine. And I think that's where that whole concept of yung sinasabi mo, Regine, getting really comfortable. I think she has a lot to do with it, talking about Cap Tolentino as she scores there. 3-1. to one. Well, uh, the girl to watch out for when you're on the side of the Philippine Army is this girl, Cap Tolentino. Remember, um, you, know, no, you mentioned a lot of uh, scores coming from the, um, this girl. And ang maganda kay Kat, if you want her to carry the load, she will just take it, you know. Wala reklamo. She will just, uh, if you want uh, her to parang chip in now with everyone, okay lang din sa kanya. Speaking of chipping, chipping in, it's a 4-1 score and Coach Kung Fu will call a timeout real quick right away. Kung Fu calling out mm -hmm. early time out here. What did, what's your take on that one, uh, Mozi? Well, it's quite a poor start for uh, the Lady Troopers. And I think it's more of yun nga na yung uh, sa depensa. Si Coach uh, Kung Fu reminding the girls where to face. Kasi dapat nakaharap ka dun sa spiker mo. Especially si Kat. Alam naman nila, we would more often go to a cross-court hit. So dapat naaabangan nila yan. Jovi with a cross-court attack. And a good timeout by Coach Kung Fu, producing a point right away. Two will be serving four. And the advantage of uh, Choco Mucho in being together for a long time, I think yun din naman ang advantage ng Philippine oh. Army. Ganun din naman sila. They've been playing with each other for a while now. They have their own training bubble yes. in uh, the Taguig area where mm -hmm. they're based. So, two straight points for the Lady Troopers after that Coach Kung Fu timeout. Good adjustment there by Madayag. King. Den Den keeps it alive. Bong guy chipping in. Again, Revilla gives him another shot on that one. Oh, this was beyond the antenna. So that will be an automatic point. So three straight points after the timeout of Coach Kung Fu. Uh, that was a good timeout uh, from Coach Kung Fu. That's why I said to you, this body language lang alam niya kagad eh, diba? Yung uh, matagal na rin silang magasama. And not only in uh, volleyball training, in a lot of military trainings as well. Pong Guy from the open side gets the lead five to four. Okay, Gaston, who contributed nine points in the last match, all on kills, by the way, in their last win, which they had to gut out against Bali Pure. Some over, oh, yeah. Good save. This receive and smart move by Dina Wong. So two straight points for Chocomucho to recover here. 6-4 is our score. That's right. Knowing that the Lady Troopers are still not in their proper places for defense, right away giving that dump. Six serving four here in Ilocos Norte. It's out of system. They couldn't stay in system in that uh, 
possession, a misreceived ball. So 7-4, good recovery by Choco Mucho. And the disappointment on the face of Coach Kung Fu as Pongai continues to serve. Jovi goes again to her favorite spot. Exactly the same spot, Boom, you're right. Somebody touched the net anyway. So it'll be five, serving seven. Choco Mucho coming off a match with 35 errors, the most. And yet they came with a win. Mm -hmm. Came off with a win. As the number 11th scorer is serving five, seven. Overpass. It's in the side of the Army, but free ball for Choco Mucho. Run and gun. Jovi takes a look at the defense. Wong, pipe from Pongai. First long rally of the match. <laughs> Revilla. It's a long rally right here. Not only saves the ball, mm -hmm. but sends it to the setter. Then, then will set. Goes to Cap. Cat uses the net. <laughs> and it ends with a back row Capoletino attack. So 8 to 5, first technical timeout here in first game of your Monday doubleheader. Scoring 10 points in her last game, UAAP Season 81 Finals MVP. Birthday girl Bea De Leon mentioned to me that they need to seal this win against Army in order to secure a spot in the semifinals. At the start of the bubble, Bea said that there was leeway to adjust para makapa yung court ulit, but now it's a balance of recovery and also staying mentally tough within these challenges. Grateful to set her feet back in the court. Now she's playing for a full conference and now she's also fully recovered from her injury and she said that she's happy to play for a full one since her last full season was still back in UAAP. For the Flying Titans she aims to just do it right to help her spikers rack on points and is thankful for the fans who continuously boost their morale and encourage them even from afar. Now let's go back to the PVL momentum with the Flying Titans and the Army Lady Troopers. Isabel Beatriz de Leon, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. The sixth best blocker of the league mm -hmm. after 14 days of competition. And uh, you know, you know, she was laid off for Long some time. time the but, leg injury, yeah. Oh, but I like how she came back. Came back from where she left. Yung hindi lang basta basta para still, you know, trying to fit in. And right. Wala eh, wala. Really came, just got back to her game. I mean, masama man sabihin ito, Mozi, pero siya yung isa sa mga nakinabang sa pandemic mm -hmm. in the sense that there was, was extended able, uh -oh. rest, right? And was recover. able to recover. As, like a lot of other <laughs> PPL players, nagamit yung pandemic to rest and recover from injuries which were nagging for many, many years. Actually, so, a lot of athletes you know, know. in general. Di lang nila sinasabi. Good find there by Tubino. With a push, getting that point. Let's take a look at that once again. Si Tubino, makiat na sa top 10 yan. Ha? Nasa number 8 na siya in terms of our best scorers because of that last game. Kat Tolentino has done the same. She goes up to number 6 as a best scorer because of that output that she had. Yan, si Gonzaga is at number 11. So we have some very mm. capable offensive players here, Mosey, in this match. And BDL. Birthday um, girl. Yeah. And a perfect set coming from Dina Wong. And look at this well-placed hit. It's not even so powerful, but it's a miss hit. Pa nga eh. But is, uh, yeah. good spot for her. You're looking at Dina Wong this time. And she is the second best in terms of setting. Consistently, she has been just behind Gia Morado in that department almost the whole tournament. Open. Arocha, walang sumabay. Gonzalez opens to Tubino but oversets that one. 
Palace Turbino was just trying to save that ball as uh, we'll see it once again. It hit the antenna, so right. point goes to Chocomucho. Tolentino nakabantay sa kanya in that open side. Revilla calmly picks it up. Jovi with the pancake save. Rainbow free ball for Choco Mucho. Arrocha down the line is wide. She risked that too much. Arrocha wide on that attempt. The veteran who used to play off the bench starting today. Ito na eh, home stretch na na. Oh, na sila eh. May sense of urgency eh. Right. And she's been playing well. For somebody, Mozi, who wasn't supposed to play or was thinking about whether she was going to go pro with the, you know, just kasi sabi niya hindi siya feeling niya 100% physical. Yeah. For somebody who's not 100% physical at her age, <laughs> pwede na. <laughs> she has been so good for their team. I don't that know if they right. can't. They would not be as competitive as they are without her here. And then there were many times when she was put in. Things really happened yeah. for the Lady Troopers. Exactly, off the bench, di ba? Mm -hmm. Pero Especially ngayon, during my end sets, no, in end games. And to eh, panayang puri natin and gets the service ace. And the confusion between Denden and Pongai there. So she goes back and Pongai gets this one. But they gave a free ball to the Lady Troopers. All because of that serve. Mm -hmm. Now it's Chocomucho's turn to answer. Denden will open up to Cap. Unag was there. Tobino. Capped again. We are tied at 10 all. And Tobino with so much power was able to get that ball in. Alam mo, nandun na yung blockers. And remember, hindi man niya pinadaan kay Regine Arrocha eh. Dun pa kay Bea, who's a taller blocker. And yet, she's able to uh, score that one. So, Ging continues to serve. They're up 11-10 here. Nice dig. The push. Cat, faster set for her this time. I think that's the way to go for Chocomucho. They have to have faster sets and uh, low sets para maunahan yung blockers na army just like that. A spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Also, I think in general, Mosey, I think Choco might want to play a faster mm -hmm. game in general just because of this older team that they're up against. And think about the lady troopers. Look at the army. Tinatapat tapat ng mga defenders yung bola. They're not even moving so much. They just read. They're reading the the hitters well. Alam niyo parang basang basan nila if it's going to go cross court or down the line because you can see them. They're not even like moving around so much. Ano na lang eh experience, de ba? I've seen it all, ano. Arocha serving. Tobino will go to the open spot, but humabol si Arocha don. Good effort. Revilla, Wong, the wipe works for BDL. You know, a lot of uh, free balls uh, has been given to the Philippine Army, but uh, they're not able to capitalize so far. Saya kasi na push na nga nila yung Choco Mucho, no? Not to have for, uh, good first balls. So Regine will continue to serve as they are ahead by 2, 13-11. Watching us on One Sports and One Sports Plus. If you're watching the replays, well, good day to you. The replays, of course, you can check out on uh, the One Sports YouTube channel. And wherever, whatever platform you're watching us on, magandang hapon as Tubino fires a rocket. That was just over the attack line. Tubino just drilling that one in. What an angle. Mm -hmm. Jane Gonzalez. 
12 serving 13. Serves it to the net. There's too much errors coming from the side of the Lady Troopers. Something they don't really need in this match. Pretty girl is back on deck. Serving 14-12. In match number 31. Ooh. We don't usually see that. That's pretty good server. It's a Tobino, who herself in the last match had 74 attempts on her 24 points. And her most productive game so far here in the PVL. As I said, see, Tobino and Gonzaga combined for 36 kills in that match. And this girl, the same way, imagine in four sets, the other one's 80 something, the other one's. 74, 74, 85, 74, oh. 23 kills para kay Kat on 25 points. And she's in perfect shape. Back set. Tupino from the back. Coach O tells them to go down. Kat on the counter. Just too powerful. And then si Tobino, she knew it was going her way, but it was just too powerful. Second technical timeout. We're back here on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Boom Gonzalez, Mozi Ravenna, 16 13. Over oh. The overpass by Kat Tolentino leads to Gonzaga detonating a bomb. That's right. And this is just experience for you, not waiting for the blockers of uh, the opponent to come into play. Gonzaga just taking that, snatching that point away. Kat trying to answer. And she does. You know how they used to, remember Mosey in the UAP where they used to target Pongai for service yes. and Pongai would have a hard time with service and get so pressured even in the last Chocomucho stint in the PVL. But you see the improvement you know, She's taking it from then, then pang aminsan eh. That's right. And uh, again, you know, that's why I always comment her, uh, especially on her floor defense. Not so much on her attacks, pero nag improved in that part. Ha? Pero yung yun nga, yung floor defense niya. And uh, she's helping out then, then a lot. Right. Especially, yun, pag magisama sila sa back row. Sila, mm -hmm. and then pag isama mo pa sila Kim, Hekeliana, na yeah. parang ang ganda ng floor defense nila. And I guess that that stint of hers as a libero also played True. a part. She's one player na yung pinatawag nila all around right. kasi she's traveled all the positions. Right. Katulad ni Kim. So, na-try niya na lahat yan. But well, it's good for her. That's why uh, okay din nga that we see her improve. And, you know, credit to Coach O. Coach True. O, I'm sure, the perfectionist that he is. As we see Nene Bautista check in for the Lady Troopers who are behind by four as Pongai continues to serve here. 
And a setting error. Malamig pa. Nineteen fourteen, biggest lead of the first set for Choco Mucho. Well, we mentioned that a while ago, uh, you can hear Coach Kung Fu saying that we gave a score to them because of those errors. A lot of errors coming from uh, the Lady Troopers. From the get-go. Sayang kasi, medyo lumapit na yung score. Oo, kanina. Lumamang pa nga sila. They were actually up 13-11. And uh, sometimes a timeout ices the, the servers and that's what happens. Gaston over on that serve. Femme Nas will come in. Double substitution para kay Coach Kung Fu. De Los Reyes in. Emnas in. Gonzalez out. Gonzaga out. Fifteen serving nineteen. Cap from behind. Oh. Pounds the pavement. Just how she likes it a bit for uh, there's this distance between the the net and her as you can see in this last play. Look at her go. Seventh best spiker in the league and nobody home in between zone six and five. Just really mastered that spot. Yun 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 zones na yun. And, uh, and from the aside, back. Aside, oh, oh, yun nga eh. And from actually anywhere. <laughs> Nagtutuloy-tuloy na to para sa Choco Mucho. Biggest lead of the match at 21-15. And going back to that Coach Kung Fu timeout. If you think this game doesn't matter to him, well, just think about that timeout that he called and see how passionate he was. <laughs> Obviously not. And uh, ako, para kahit ako, you know, these are, I'm talking about the Lady Troopers, these are real life super, volleyball Sorry. superstars. Yeah. And, you know, like... And our... our our heroes also. I mean, True. these are... Ma, hindi na maninipis ang mga balat niya mga yan, uh, Mosey. Uh, not just in volleyball, A but in already... army training. Oh, that's, that's what I'm why. saying. But it's just different, uh, different culture. Kasi, uh, oops, I think there's a violation regarding I, the um, libero. No? Yung pagpasok ng libero mukhang nalate. And obviously, obviously uh -oh. Coach Kung Fu knows them very well. Mm -hmm. They know him very well. And look at Coach Oh, He's also firing on all cylinders today. Two very passionate coaches. So I was saying that they're like icons. They're the lady troopers. Yeah. Many of us yeah. come in, the volleyball yeah. players. Yeah. Yeah. Yung gusto ni Coach Oh. Mm -hmm. Rotation error, so that should be an extra point, right? The coach Kung Fu is just livid. With Erlindo Eusebio, our second referee. Remember, if they win today, they're still somehow in contention yes, for the semifinal right. spot. That's why Coach Kung Fu is adamant about this game. So Mark Santos will talk to the captain. Mm -hmm. Of Choco Mucho, Bea de Leon. Kasi yung tawag kanina, di ba bumito ako, pero hindi niya sineserve, tapos inawat na siya yung referee. Ini-replay ko na lang. Replay lang yun. Kaya pumunta yung bigla ko na sa nga, kaya nga, inabol nung nang siya yung referee ko, kaya yun replay ko na lang. Bakit kaya naman na lang? Eh, hindi pa naman nakaka-serve eh. Wala pang violation doon. Kaya nga. Tapos nagpalit ba ng tao? So they're gonna call a left on this one. Yes. Birthday girl. Thank you. I'm gonna stress her point. 
Pero kasi hindi pa nag-whistle for the serve. Kaya parang mukhang delayed yung pasok ng libero eh. Coach O still mm -hmm. making his case. Even with that five-point lead, he's, look at that face. He, you know he's fuming. Oh, that's a hard spot. Nene Bautista getting to that corner. Look at this once again. Let's reiterate again. Choco Mucho wins this one. They pretty much wrap up a semi-spot with their unblemished record. Because I think the succeeding games nila are well up against really uh, uh, teams that are on top also. Same line and yeah. Jack Eagle, yeah. So, in other words, your point is, kailangan mo na makabangko. Oo, oh, oh, ito na. Ponto ka na, diba? Makabangko ng konti. Yeah. But of course, Coach O will, you know, still try to win those games. Cat! And this is something that I was expecting the Lady Troopers to do, yung mga off-the-block points no, from their attackers, but it doesn't happen uh, on their side. Two points away from... Wrapping set number one. Good save there by Dina Wong. Wong, it's too low. Yeah, that was too low. Let's take a look at this once again. Ganda sana kasi late yung uh, blocker ng Arnie de los Reyes, but uh, that did make... That's one of the toughest calls in volleyball. Which one? Yung, yung, yung kala mo low or lumusot na na, na block, na bumalik uh, yung bola. But sometimes it looks like a block. Ne, parang ano, lumikit sa blocker, Ito. pero actually sa tape muna na block ng tape. And it's tough to call in real time. Yes, Atayo kasi may slow mo correct. tayo, Mozi. Ito, set point for the Gina Rocha, and she will serve for the first set with a six-point lead. Choco Mucho at five and zero. Oh. Oh, nice cut shot. Parang overset ng <laughs> Oh, oh pero ginawa ng paraan ni Royce to be, you know? That's just how she is. She cuts it. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful cut. Cut shot. Money piece. First line. Yan yung ano eh, always pag-atahar ka, pag nakaka-first line ball ka. Parang feeling mo, times two. <laughs> Parang dunk sa yeah. mga basketball, exactly. diba? They save one set point. Mm -hmm. Pongai goes cross court, and Choco Mucho will not be denied the first set of this first game of your Monday doubleheader. We will be back. Thank you very much for watching the PVL on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Boom Gonzalez, Mozi Ravenna. You're watching the first set of match number 31, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, a Black Mamba Energy Drink, Army Lady Troopers who fall in set number one. Saying they were at pace with the Choco Mucho up until the middle portion of this first set, but eventually, because also of their errors, um, Choco Mucho was able to capitalize on them and uh, get their game going.
trying to no, no They were pressuring uh, the ball handlers of the Choco Mucho team. That's why they weren't able to get, ano, have mga nice attacks. Ito mga 17 na to, latter portion na to sa upper, uh, uh, upper half of that uh, first set. So, not enough attack points even if ang kaganda sana no attacks ni Royce Tobino for the Philippine Army. And uh, block point zero for Choco Mucho. That's uh, also strange, a surprise. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very strange. But uh, more service aces for uh, the Lady Troopers. And yung unforced errors, pareho lang the same no with seven apiece and uh yun lang because it's really the lady troopers who should minimize their errors kasi ito not the usual well aside from the last game um not the usual din na uh, unforced errors ng Choco Mucho because we, we've known them to really you know have a low uh, unforced errors pero so far yun nga they were seven and seven in this match so Talentini now with 10 points Gaston with two Tobino with four and Balsapabayo with three. So, you, you know, um, they really need the help of uh, Bunag and the rest of the pack. I'm talking about the Lady Troopers to score some, I mean, to chip in some points. Si Nene Bautista, po, adiba, isang ano pa rin yan, so a player that can really add to their uh, arsenal. Hindi pa natin nakikita. Hindi si pa natin nakikita. Jovelin. Si, uh, in, in Francisco, we, ha we oh, haven't yeah. seen. Who, by the way, at the start of this tournament, she was the one starting for uh, Black Mamba. Of course, Team Francisco coming from UST, na naging coach rin naman si Coach Kung Fu. Actually, she decided not to play anymore her last year for UST and was worried about whether she was going to have a PVL team. And she is super thankful that Coach Kung Fu, not kumbaga, parang tatay na niya, mm -hmm. welcomed her after an injury. Remember, an yes, ACL injury. Yes, an ACL injury. So she's super thankful that she's there and she's been starting for the Army team except for the last couple of games. So both teams with the service error. One all. That is a point for Choco Mucho. Choco Mucho, by the way, has not only been undefeated, but they've only dropped two, two sets. sets. The first game and the last game against Valley Pure. Dun mo makita how meticulous the vas coach, coach o. o is. Oh, another service error. <laughs> Malawana sa Choco Mucho giving away two free points to the Lady Troopers. Although si uh, Black Mamba Army also gave them one. Tobino, the player of the game of their last match, get us going for this rally. Bongai guts. Gaston powers it through the block. And you mentioned guts. This is God's because despite the two blockers, Bongai Gaston just managed to put that in. I mean, like Gonzaga and Malaluan are two also. I mean, si lalo na si Malaluan, a tall player, tall blocker. Hindi lang nakaposisyon ng mabuti, hindi nakahabol. Kumabol. Kumahabol lang. That's a tough block. Courtesy of... The number 10th blocker of the league, that's Matty Madayag. And uh, this is why Coach uh, Chocomucho is so lethal because not only do you have really great attackers, but you also have good blockers. In, na yung attackers are good blockers at the same time. Yeah. So you, you have Maddy, you have uh, Bea, you have Kat, even Pongai. BDL and Madayago are yes. in the top 10, by the way, of blocking in the team. Six, itong si birthday girl, while number 10, si Mari, 5-2. Choco Mucho looking to pull away early here in set number two. Later on, it'll be the Signal HD Spikers versus the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Good coverage. Coach O appreciating the effort at the net by the girls. 
Well, on the other side, I'm sure Coach Kung Fu not liking this uh, mistimed volleyball on the side of the Lady Troopers. Hence the timeout. Huh. Natin dun, si assistant coach Rico de Guzman. So, just reminding the girls to be more focused in this game. Kanina pa yan, ano, yung issue na yan na focus. Yung focus ng uh, Lady Troopers. Kanina, it was coach uh, Kung Fu. Ngayon naman si coach Rico. But you know, I feel like it's partly them. It's partly Choco Mucho forcing mm -hmm. them to errors also because of the way Choco Mucho has played. I think Francisco is in already in this game for the first time, and she is unable to cover Bongay Gaston and that cross-court attack. And look at the celebration here as they establish their big lead in set two. The biggest lead of the match was six earlier. And it's really because Bongay is uh, just so brave in challenging the blockers of uh, the Philippine Army it's with their hits. Wala nang iwas iwas talagang papaluin with all her might and a score two from those kind of hits. Capped. That's too low. So three seven. And as he coach going to really shuffling the rotation of oh, the Lady Troopers. In our pre-game, we already mentioned that, that uh, sa mas malamang, yan talaga mangyayari dito. Tim Francisco, the aforementioned former UST Golden Tigers, along with Alina Bicar, have all decided to forego. Tolentino. <laughs> not enough spin. Too much power and not enough spin on that last play. So two straight points for Army. It's the ex-captain of UST that is serving. Nope. Hey, that's three straight points already. Well, what happened there is Pong Kai nakatingin siya sa teammates niya eh, and yet the ball was closer to her, kaya hindi na naka-adjust. Five serving seven. She continues to serve well. Pong Kai receives. Bump set. And another kill block there. Choco Mucho, 8 5. Second set action. Watching the PVL on One Sports and One Sports Plus. That's Madayag who points to where the ball lands after her stuffed block for the 8 5 lead. Capitolentino on your screens, leading the scoring parade with a highly efficient 10 on 10. You know, she was saying 
uh, and I said this in previous broadcasts, that you know, she loves being in the bubble, if forced to, because she has training about being away from family who yeah. live in Canada. But the one thing that she's worried about, she's a woman who likes isolation also, kasi Mosey apparently sabi niya sa akin, as Madayag gets another score at 9 to 5. Her worry is when she's coming from a bad game, she likes to be alone. And in this setup, whether it's this Lawad setup or in setup nila dati sa Clark, she cannot be alone. She'll be around the players, she'll be around, you know, roommates. But she's learning to deal with that because yeah. she likes her alone time. I was going to say that, but that's also good in a way that she's able to learn um, adjust. To, uh, to adjust. Exactly. Ang uh, counterpoint ko naman so far in this PBL season, wala pa siyang bad game. Eh. So, <laughs> so, hindi pa niya kailangan mag-isolate. Mag Mama naman! Because <laughs> she's been playing so well. That's right. Pagaling pa ng pagaling. Sa gitna. And Kat and Denden couldn't get to it. So that run is halted. Six will be serving ten. Neatly done. As you see, King Pabayo. Just enough power. I really love the fact that she decided to play again. Oh, yeah. And uh, good for these youngsters, the yes. right? young players, to see her or to get to play against her. Yeah. One and guess more what? Time. Two straight points. <laughs> Nothing flashy. Ganun naman si King, eh, especially when uh, she plays the middle. Expect mo yan, right and left. Kailangan pantayan mo talaga. So, you cannot just let your libero do all of those, uh, yung, your responsibility. Wong chases it. Tolentino. Jovi gets out of the way. Revilla overpass. Wong guy winds up. But Revilla was there for coverage. They open. Bad angle! I don't know, was that going out, Mozi, you think? I know, eh. Uh, when in doubt, you get it. Come on, just Pardon. get it. And I'm not going to question then then Lazaro Revilla, obviously. As you look at the spike of the set brought to you by Duncan, she will, you know, have every right to make those mistakes, but it's. It's hard to judge pagkaganyan na. No? Yeah, it's the right mindset. When in doubt, just get the ball. Right. Try to get the ball. Saka siya yan eh. Uh, <laughs> Usually, she is right eh. <laughs> but Pohongai wants again another point from her cross-court attack. 11-8. Unfaced na to si Pohongai in this match eh. Even against the Lady Troopers na kahit tayo, misan, ano tayo eh, no? Mesmerized by their presence. But it's Ponga in this game, and just doing her thing. Lisa, kasi when you're a young player and you see many Bautista, you see King uh, Balse, you see diba, these players, you see Jovelin. And remember, Ponga was originally a USD player. Din yan, so, yes! I mean, she is aware <laughs> of, <laughs> aware of you know, the, the, oh, the senior. Pabayo, so. yeah. Royce Tobino. And what they've done for their school, yeah. Sometimes it all it, it affects your game, the sure. right? the mere presence. But so far, Paul Guy is unfazed in this match. And again, then then was there. Jump set by M Nas. Lazaro. I, I bet she could still get to that if there wasn't anybody there, but <laughs> not that time. Nene Bautista, Black Ar Mamba Army. Sticking to the Choco Mucho, Flying Titans. Free ball given to the Choco Mucho. Run and Titans. gun, yep. And there you go, Madi Madayag. Alam mo, hindi pa nga nila nag utilize so much si Madi in their game so far, ah. So it's something, Rena. It's just sleeping. It's there. You know she can do it. But uh, so far, hindi pa nila na ma maximize points coming off her from her. Emnas, find the dump. 
We all know that she's always had a great vertical leap for right. a small setter. And that par powerful dip. Sobra. Um, diba kasi, on, ano siya, ang ganda nung, ano niya, pwesto sa bola. It's always on top at its peak. That's out. That's a tough set, even for Cap. So, lumitikit na naman dito ang Black Mamba Energy Drink. 11 will be serving 13. King is back. Then then chases it. Arrocha attacks. Francisco. Nicely done with a, a bit of an angle. Finds the corner. Mm -hmm, right. And it is Coach O who will call this timeout. confidence in uh, his players, mm. telling them to trust each other, make the adjustments. Yeah, and lalo na in particular yung sinasabi niya, yung balls na coming from the Philippine Army are actually high balls. So kailangan mag-adjust sila pagdating sa defense. Kumbaga, move their feet and pwestohan na hindi yung bola, but mahirap pwestohan yun. Yan, yeah. yan. Yeah. Yung mga ganyang klase. Hindi <laughs> kaya pwestohan. The timing ng uh, ganong serve. King has been serving well. Oh yeah, and you know the the little bit of ima little bit of uh, on the ser uh, points from the service line. Yung mga kape, ano, pwede. Oh oh, mga power tips ni King. Yung mga kailangan talaga nila from King. Eh. They need, they really need Ooh. her playing. Good save by Jovelin. Arrocha. It's Tubino this time. Sorry, it was Tubino who saved the ball also earlier. Right. And she was the one who went for the attack. And with so much power. That's Tubino. Mm -hmm. yep. And then she backtracks for this attack. Wong hits it to the antenna. And I was talking about that off the block hits that will probably come from uh, the Lady Troopers. Ayun na, may isa na. Dalawa na yung lamang dito, ha, ng uh, Lady Troopers. Kim Hekiliana is in the match for the very first time. First ball, errors. And King continues to serve. Kanina pa yan. Here, service aces. Five to a uh, five coming from the Philippine Army and two for Choco Mucho. Now, we've seen Choco Mucho also with heavy serve. So far in this match, parang wala pa tayo na ikita. Boom. Oh, somebody scraped the net. That's PDL. And 16-13 for Black Mamba. Chocomucho is down by three as BDL scrapes the net with her forearm on this one. A very subtle touch, but she knew it, judging from that reaction. Yeah, and uh, in that timeout, I heard Coach Oil telling the girls, just be patient. Gusto niya more patience from the girls. Mukhang parang namamadali nila eh, diba? 
So the coach O wants them to settle down. Bumalik ang bola. M. Nas was going for a 1-2 offensive. Very strong hit. Tin Francisco too wide on that slice. <laughs> They're going to oh, reverse yes. it. Oh, yes. Mark Santos conferring with the linesman. Coach O is in disbelief. So what was that? Was that a check ball? Che a I think he called the check ball. Mark called the check ball. Things are getting heated here. This is the biggest lead, Mozi, ng Black Mamba Army. Anim para si Choco Mucho, apat para sa Lady Troopers. Well, in the first set, lumamang sila, pero dalawa, no, in the mid portion yes. of, this, uh, of 13, the first 11, set. Yes. yes. That's out. But to be no, not enough spin on that cross court. One of the few that... Ano parang placement shot lang eh, di ba? From Tobino, but it went wide. So dapat sa kanya siguro yung palo yung madalakas. She's more effective. So far, Dina Wong with 11 excellent sets. Wong takes it. Mm -hmm. Tolentino. Wow. Oh, that's four, four touches. touches. Now, yeah. A couple of points now for Choco Mucho. Coach O actively coaching from the sideline as usual and as expected. It's really more yung, um, I think, no, if kasi you have a young team, yung, yung gusto niya to, set, to settle them. Kasi minsan, parang hindi man natataranta. But sometimes when you're young, hindi... Hindi mo rin kagad ma stop yung yung ganun eh, di ba? Yung ganun feeling na you want to pawi kaga, di ba? Yung ganyan. But uh, yeah. sometimes it doesn't happen. You have to settle down first. So just like that, Kato's able to get that point on a cross court hit once again. So the four point lead almost erased here, down one. Overpass. Oh, what a, what a recovery mm -hmm. by Hekiliana. Another block there to be no lit. Like to be uh, just you know Sigur putting out everything that she has. Pantay na pantay na pero yeah. you know, just powering it through. And it's a Catalentino BDL. BDL block. It's not Over. easy to do. Oh, but you don't, don't want this error. Giving a free point to Choco Mucho. Just down by one now. Pekiliana. Now will serve. They're down one. Cross court. Tobina targeting Dina Wong. Just to disrupt probably the play of Choco Mucho. It's a good set by Imnas also, who has been a spark here for Coach Kung Fu, by the way. When she came in, itong si Imnas changed the complexion of this match. Very purposeful substitution for Imnas. Imnas will bump it. Gonzaga. Oh, what a save. Open. Pongai. And I like how Pongai this time went down the line to take that point. She's been unstoppable in this match so far. Look at her go for the kill for a spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. It has been Tobino and Pongai in this match. PDL. Touches the net, sorry, touches the antenna. So now Choco Mucho recovering here. Do 
Tunag receiving. At ito na. Mahmasanet overset by Fem. To the delight of Coach O. As now they are tied as they make their way back here in set number two. Down four earlier. So far, excellent receptions. Army with 22 and uh, Chakamucho with 16. Well, the bench players of uh, Black Mamba have made the difference. Femem Nas, Tin Francisco. And I was going to say, ng uh, Philippine Army, the Lady Troopers, they're so much better here in the second set. Yeah, they're able to set up Tobino. Capped. Gonzalez with the set. Wong to Pongai again. And Pongai, you know, putting it everywhere on the, trying and challenging the defense of uh, the Lady Troopers. What a second set for these two teams. Really tight battle. That's what we're having. Chokumucho, just like in that Valley Pure match, really getting pushed, really getting mm -hmm. tested. Revilla with a get. Oh, nobody home. Gaston took a peek at the defense and saw a gaping hole, and they take over the lead. And the variety of attacks coming from this girl. Pongai on the tip. Perfectly done. Kanina pa siya hampas ng hampas. Down the line, cross court, midway. And it is Jovi who's able to find a crack in that ball. And we've been waiting for uh, Jovelyn Gonzaga uh, for her usual game. You know? And uh, let's see if uh, this could be the spark or the start of something going for her. Oh, Very smart. That's the way that the coach wants to see it. Disguising her hands very well, right. and then in the last second, bang! Very offensive-minded. 22-21. Pongai on deck. Might get a free ball here. Yes, they will. Wong will go to the run and gun. It hits the head of Maddy. So we're tied at 22. This is a close second set. Look at Maddie go. Yeah, and Bautista uh, got her covered. Didn't even need Ging. The chase by Wong. Hegeliana cross court. Luna goes there. Gonzalez. Oh, but they give a free ball. Hegeliana will score. 23-22. Dik-dikan tayo dito sa second. That's right. And again, magically, <laughs> Kim Bicaliana getting the score. Coach Kung Fu will call a time. Sino ba yun? Si Gonzales ba yun? Alam mo, ang nakakatawa rito kasi they've been together for a long time. Ano sabi ni Gonzales mo? Pagsatsagayin natin yan hanggang 39-41. Kasi daw tsaga eh. You just know that he's... Hanggang matapos ano? Yeah. Kahit 41 points pa. Ang layo pa nun eh. Hanggang 39-41 daw tsatsagayin nila. Push. And Ekeliana couldn't keep it in play. Did not trust the coverage. Matayag, I think, was there behind her. A good timeout by Coach Kung Fu, producing a point that gets him tied. 23 all. And once again, Ging uh, Pabayo. Very simple, and yet still so effective. 
in the middle, in the middle for uh, Coach Kung Fu. Gonzaga was there. Tabino on the other side. Who gets the set point first? Tabino on the counter comes up short. And Ekeliana was the one who sent it over. So set point number one for Choco Mucho. Well, that was hard for uh, Tobino because um, it's a dick na rin dun sa side yung underhand set. But still, you know her, she'll just go for it. Especially at this point. Pinabawi. Revilla recovers. Hegeliana will send it for the easy over. Gitna. And the sixth best blocker of the league gives them set number two. That was just well read, Boom. Choco Mucho ahead, two sets to love. Set two highlights. It was a sorry loss for the Lady Troopers. We played really well in that second set and even led the way. But uh, Choco Mucho, with that last time out of uh, Coach O, really settled things for uh, his girls. So they were able to run their play and uh, take snatch, actually, this second set from uh, the Lady Troopers. It was a uh, Royce Tubino and uh, Pongai Gaston show in that second set. But towards the end, it's also the blocking of the Flying Titans that worked well for them. They were able to close out that second set. But as you see the stats, the attack points were really close. And uh, only one more for the Flying Titans, block points. This is what I was talking about. It worked for Choco Mucho on that set. And uh, Aces one more for uh, the Lady Troopers. And Unforced Error, almost the same. Just one more for the Flying Titans. But again, that second set, is, uh, that was a hard-fought second set, partner. Yeah. I mean, Bumawi oh. talaga. Eh. The, the, the level of play of uh, the Black Mamba Energy Drink Army Lady Troopers really went up, but... So did Choco Mucho mm -hmm. at the end of that set. Very crucial timeout guy for Coach O. After that, it kind of settled the girls and they were able to well, run some place that, that was able to close out the set. And uh, Tolentino now with 12 points, Gaston with 9. On the other side, it's Pabaya with 8 and Tubino with 7. So if Gaston has 9, that means she scored 7 in that second set. Right. And Tolentino scored two in that second set. Mm -hmm. Nagka tara na, yeah, eh. diba? So again, you know, Dina Wong picking and choosing. And then there were, you had points from Kim Hekiliana. You had a few points from BDL and Mandy Madayag. Sayang kasi yung uh, defense ng Lady Troopers is really... Better nung second, yes, no? Yes, exactly. And they, that's why nga they were able to set up plays. Yung mga quick nila, si Team Francisco is able to score some points. Sayang lang, medyo bumitiw dun sa dulo. But uh, then again, at least nakita nila no, how things are going. Well, this girl is a big part of that defense. I'm talking about Joblin Gonzaga. Ganda na hugot ni Coach Kung Fu, no. pati kay, uh, kay Tin at saka kay Fen. Emnas, nag-change nag yung ano eh. Yung laro nung pumasok si Emnas din. At kaya siya pa rin ang gagamitin ni Coach Kung Fu. To start the third set, it is Choco Mucho 
against the Black Mamba Energy Drink. Boom Gonzalez, Mosey Ravenna. This is game number one of your Monday doubleheader and match 31 on day 15, the home stretch of the elimination round. You know, if Choco Mucho wins today, mm -hmm. they'll be 6 and 0. Oh, yeah. Right? In last year, or in the last time that we saw Choco Mucho, their maiden uh, campaign in the PVL, or double round, double oh. round, pa no, di ba? they only managed six wins yes. in that tournament. No double round, pa tayo no. so, so clearly, no, you can see the improvement. Okay. Ba? And it doesn't take like one person, no, or, for sure. it is a team effort. Yeah, it was a great training camp, according yeah. to the players and according co to Coach O. And then the additions, uh, the yep. biggest of which, of course, is the maturity and the skill set of Den Den. Lazaro Revilla being the biggest addition there. Regina Rocha, of course, as part of that. One all in set number three. Hadayag. Even with a not so powerful hit, was able to uh, score that one. Well placed. Back set. Oh, what a nice attack coming from Royce to Bino on the down the line hit. Flipping the line. Great space. Let's take a look at this once again. Spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Royce to Bino. And drift, drifting left mm -hmm. and cutting it right. 3-2 is our score. 24 points in the previous match on 75 attempts. I'm talking about Royce Tubino. 5-10 open hitter for the Lady Troopers. May 20 digs pa siyang kasama doon oh, sa 24 yun points. Yun na sabi ko yung double-double niya. Hindi basta-basta kasi 24-20. 20-20. And, and it's not an easy thing to do, you know, in a, in a match. And that was just four not sets, di ba? Yeah, not at all. Kaya lang natural kasi si Royce to be, you know, when you see her play, even in college, she's just a natural scorer. So, Kumbaga, basta appreciate mo yung, yung defense. Yeah, eh. yung 20 digs. Mm. Tolentino gets it through. Chance of here for Choco Mucho. Three all. And Madayag. Madi Madayag unleashing power on that here. Take a look for go. Nicely done. Two sets to love and 4-3 with the Phil Canadian on deck. Other side and another stuffed block by Gaston and Madayag, who has been a fortress there at the net. Tenth best in the league, surprisingly. Could be higher, but BDL is right there at six. In the meantime, it is Cap pouring on the points on the attacks. Pongai. It's good dig right there. That's wide. No touch. Right, Tobino on that back row attack. Too much uh, angles on that one. Choco Mucho looking to stay sharp and unscathed if they win today and they're also hoping not to drop another set. Not good enough on that thing. Oh! Then <laughs> then and Regine. May konting na disorient si Arrocho na she was going the other way. But look at Den Den go. Siya yung nag-sorry. No? That's so, uh, what Den Den Revilla does to this team. Four serving six. 
Francisco has played well off the bench for Coach Kung Fu. It's long. There's a touch, according to Mark Santos. He got you. He's already asking for the touch. Gaston will serve here. <laughs> Left-handed on the other side. Bumawi agad, pero mm. nakailalim sa bola yeah. si Maddie. Not in the best position, so... He knew it, yeah. Yeah, that went long for Maddie. They continue to talk there at the net, talking about Maddie and Dina. Regine. Again, a tough set. That's uh, Emnas who sends it too wide for Nene Bautista. 8-5 is our score. Set three. Telling the girls that they, if they have the chance, they should go for a combination plays at this third set, a much needed set for them to stay on in this uh, match. 8 5. <laughs> Looking to secure their spot in the semifinals, fortify it with a win today. And they're ahead by three. Joust will end up with a Choco Mucho point. Ito mga masanet. Paal si Pabayo disagrees. Is bewildered that Mark Santos said her forearm <laughs> scraped the net. Lagot kayo, ginagadit niya na si Ging. And Nas will try again. A combination play. Bumping to Jovi. Ooh, what an effort by Black Mamba, but they couldn't keep it in play. That's right. Now you can feel the, the, the Flying Titans are more organized and more confident. And uh, as you can see in this last play. Spike of the set brought to you by Duncan and Coach Kung Fu will call a timeout. Ten five is the score. Choco Mucho ahead, doubling up on Black Mamba. Honey Rose Tubino and the rest of the Lady Troopers need this set to extend it to a fourth. Well, Coach Kung Fu looking for that uh, defense na nakipinakita nila no second set. That's why he, he was asking for a combination play uh, in the beginning of this set. Pero hindi nga naman makakapag-kombinasyon kung wala silang mga magagandang first ball. So that's what's happening 
here. They're able to pop up the ball, pero hindi hindi masyadong maganda for them to enable them to do combination plays. Hindi napigilan ni Nene Bautista ang kanyang swing. She scrapes the net right after the attack. There, look at that. Nagimitara yung net. So pinalik na ni Coach Kung Fu yung starting setter, Jane Gonzalez. Fem M. Nas will sit down. She has done her part, talking about Fem. Nene Bautista just using her power to get that off the block point. Set up by Gonzalez there from behind. Yan kasi nga, maganda yung first ball, boom. That's yeah. yung, what Coach uh, Kung Fu was telling the girls in that last time out. That is out though. So they cannot put two points together here as Choco Mucho doubles up 12 to 6. Second best setter in the league after 14 days of competition. 12 serving 6. Another stuffed block. And this time that attack of uh, Royce Tubino was well read by our birthday girl. If you take a look at this attack once again, binantayan yung cross court. They left the down the line open kasi medyo nakaharap na eh, no? si Royce for the cross court. So, Nabasa. well read by uh, the blockers of Chocomucho. Chance here to go up even more. And they do, 14 to 6, and Choco Mucho is now looking to step on the gas. This is the biggest lead in any set by any team. Eight points. And it is Katerina who's used that off the block point against the blocker of uh, Lady Troopers. But unfortunately, just as they are starting to roll, we have a blackout here. But you know, I was told na always may ready na gen set. That's why kapat na oh, nakakabalik tayo. All right, we'll take a break and hopefully makabalik tayo agad after these. We're back on air here on One Sports and One Sports Plus. <laughs> Gen Set has backed up the uh, electricity. Because we want to bring you the games as uh, best as possibly. Not as just we us. Possibly can. Not just us, but yes. most importantly, the people from the PVL. PVL, oh, right there. Group. Tayo, sa Reliance in uh, Mandalu, yung sila po, yung nasa Ilocos Norte. I know, you know, I just have to say this now. We're, we're all doing our share, our uh, sacrifices yeah, our part yeah. to bring the, uh, to bring these games to the fans. Lahat tayo sobrang happy in these challenging times that we're having. At the moment that we're having in the air, that we have uh, these games. And with the impending ECQ, tuloy oh, tuloy oh. po ang paglalaro nila dyan because they are in a bubble. They are in that setup so they can continue sure. playing. So we've, we've, I mean, as a league, the PVL has encountered storms, you know, <laughs> leaking roofs, oh. um, elongated blackouts, which have not happened anymore. I mean, the blackouts happened, pero ngayon, mabilis na nakabalik na. Bulbs that have uh, 
Oh. The lights that have... Like crick. <laughs> light bombs. Pero, Pero diba? Tuloy. Oh. No, always Laban lang. Magagawa ng paraan. And then... Uh, you know, we're just too happy to see these girls play. And sila rin siguro. No? Also, Omozi, we have to say, nagagawa ng paraan and without compromise. Mm -hmm. huh? We're not compromising. Right. So we continue to play. Although if you notice, it is kind of a little darker on the side of Choco Mucho, which has been an issue in the past week. But tuloy-tuloy ang action, 16 to 7. Lamang po si Coach o. Because it was in the beginning, it's not going to be shot. Hey, Joko Mucho! Hide the front! Hide the front! We are watching the PBL on One Sports and One Sports Plus. And Joko Mucho on full throttle right now, ahead by nine. Sixteen to seven. Second na dinala. Ganon ng Choco. Open naman dito kay Tubino. The chase is on and a save by Choco. Gonzalez will open up again to Tubino. Not this time, said the blockers of Choco. And the, the set was a bit short. Katulad nung kanina, nung paano rin binlock ni Bea yung uh, palo ni Royce Tobino. It's the same. Kumbaga, wala na choice si Tobino to go down the line. Eh. That's why nababantayan yung cross court. Sampu na to. Biggest lead of the match. Tin. On the runner, Revilla will set up Tolentino. Tolentino will score again. Pat Tolentino in this match so far, I mean, uh, very quiet, but I'm sure after this match, you'll see her numbers once again, her usual numbers. Which will be nothing but quiet. 11-point <laughs> lead. Screaming. <laughs> It is 18 to 17, Coach Kung Fu, maybe with the last ditch stand there and a timeout. Shannon Palak on your screens has not seen action here, but with the way this set is going, maybe we'll get some court time for Coach O. But Vino is not yet done here. Gonzalez will serve. You, you just know in that last time out na malumanay na no, si Coach uh, Kung Fu and si Coach Rico because they know that the uh, Lady Troopers are already um, playing tired. You can see, you see, it's a bit just sluggish na yung movements nila inside. And sinasabi nga ni Coach Kung Fu na wala yung uh, digs. Okay sa reception, pero nawala yung digs. So, I guess yun ang ano, yung, yung pagod nila, they're a bit tired in uh, going to this third set. And this is why we were saying that by nature, Choco Mucho mm -hmm. would want to play faster pace, Ooh, no? That's right. To really tire Counter, this. Counter, no? Eh, parang... Mapagod. Mm -hmm. Itong the, the older 
Army team, miscommunication there as you see the excellent reception. Right, so sabi nga ni Coach Kung Fu, nandun yung reception eh. Pagdating lang dun sa mga rally, no? Dun sa nagkakaproblema sa digs. Then, nabablock pa. Mm -hmm. uh, nila Tolentino, nila BDL, and Maddie. Pongay, by the way, enters double digits with 10 points. The lead is 12 now and five points away from win number six, which is all they had in their previous stint in the PVL in a double round Robin format. That was without BDL, that was without Dina Wong. They're saying it's a transformed flying yeah, Titan. For sure. For the better. For sure. And a healthier, too. True. Yun peng is a don. They were they're now healthier. As uh, we see, Dublin Gonzaga getting that point. One guy will make something out of this. Another kill block. Two. Naabangan na eh, no? yung uh, Philippine Army. So, and um, nababasa na rin sila because it's, uh, the plays are a bit slow already. And as I said, some of the bench troopers, wow, well, will check in because of this lead, a 12-point lead. La Vittoria will check in. She will set for sure. Caitlin Viray, another UST product, will be there for Coach O. Other side. Pongai. Cross court is wide, too long. Eight to one on the block department, block points. As expected. Pero zero zero yan no first set, remember? Oh, yeah. Yun nga, hindi, kumbaga hindi nag function masyado dun sa side of Chocomucho. Na inexpect natin from them yung uh, blocking. So actually, even the first set was close also. The dive by Denden. Den. That's out. Underneath the ball, Mark Santos checks with the linesman. No, no check ball. And Choco Mucho is looking good here, 22-10. Wala nang lift eh, dun sa attack ng, uh, ng Lady Troopers. Nicole Buen comes in. Choco Mucho. This is really the time for Coach O to give experience to the other players on the bench, especially going towards the end of this elimination round. Namukha namang they're looking good in uh, entering the final four. Setting error for Jamie La Vittoria. Single round Robin format, a compact schedule for the PVL. It's going to the other side, and Maddie will not be denied a point on that sequence. Easily towering everyone else. 23 11. Too low. Giving a freebie to uh, Lady Troopers. Down by 11 points. Yeah, biggest lead is 12. Any Bautista suit. This communication there. This is a completely different six on the floor now. No, not all. Except for uh, no, but I mean, BL, yeah. in terms of the combination, it's different. Ebuen diving. Virai sending it over. Jamie back to Virai. That's low. Three straight points for Black Mamba Army. Cutting the lead down to nine. Right. Coach O is two points away, so he's still being patient. But uh, he still can afford it. Figure it out on your own. Reception problems. 
Four straight points. Coach O looking at the bench. Might call a timeout. Yes, he will. Let's listen in. timeout is not about plays anymore, mm -hmm. Mosey. Yes. Uh, it's about uh, telling the girls that kahit bago kayo, you, you're there for a reason. Diba? You were put there to close this uh, game out. And uh, sabi nga niya, respect your opponent, which I always hear kasi sa mga kids rin namin, that's always our line. No? You have to always respect your opponent. Which means you have to take them seriously yes. and take their service and all that even if lamang na lamang na kayo. They've scored four straight oh. points. Make that five on another setting error from Jamie LaVittoria. And it's, uh, that's why Coach O is saying you got to look confident out there. Right. And she is looking a little hesitant, you know, even just from her body language. Versus. And you have to remember, Jamie's one of the artists also mm. uh, in, in this team. So, siguro may expectation rin sa kanya si Coach O. Once a 12-point lead, down to seven. That's gonna go out. So it's down to six here. You wonder if Coach O will yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> bring back some of the starters just to finish finish it. Remember also, coaches don't want their girls to play more than they should yes. because of the schedule. Exactly. So, ito nga sana yung way niya, no? Uh, hitting two birds with one stone. Yeah. One is to give uh, playing time to the other girls. Two is to rest Nakapahinga. the other players. Ito na, pinasok na oh. yung mga closers. Kato Latino, Dina Wong. Referees uh, sorting out the substitutions here. We get the, si the whistle, We're ready to go. Of course, they go to Cat right away. This 12-point lead is down to five. Right. And you cannot give that window of opportunity to a team like the Lady Troopers, like the Philippine Army. Kayang a black mamba sila eh. Balik kay Cat. Sakitna. Down to four. Oh, wow. Kumakapit, kinakayod. And another substitution for Coach O. Regina Rocha, the, the six, the starting six. Yeah, completing the six. Better first ball there. They open to Regine. Regine will try to swipe. Ito, ginaganahan na yung Black Mamba dito. But this one's out. No oh, touch. No touch. Long with that one. So sayang yun, missed opportunity because that was a string of points. Yeah, from 12 points down, they cut it to, five, to four. four. To four. So now match point. Gonzalez will bump it. Chance here for Choco Mucho. Who will they go to? Cat with a cut. That's too low. And Choco Mucho will take their sixth win in the BVL Season 4 Open Conference. Their sixth professional win. It took a while here in the third set, but they got over the hill. And the confirmation of the scores of the sweep 25-19, 25-23, 25-19. We'll take a break. We'll be back to wrap this baby up.
back inside the PCV Social Civic and Cultural Center in Bacaray, Locos Norte. And that is the score. And a three-set win for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans with their sixth victory of the season. And Tolentino, our sixth best scorer in the league. Again, really hitting and firing from all angles and in all cylinders here. And of course, also our seventh best spiker in the league. And if you're picking her as a player of the game, Mosey, I believe that is her third of the season already. Oh yeah, this is the serving player. Kat Tolentino in this match. Sabi natin kanina was yung, ano yung, quiet, pero I'm sure after the game, screaming numbers again, uh, which led us uh, to lead me to pick her as our player of the game. But I want to have a spe special mention to Pong Guy, who really played efficiently in this match. Along Bea De Leon also had her share. Maddie uh, had her time. Yes. And of course, the overall brilliance mm -hmm. of Den Den Lazaro oh. Revilla, mm -hmm. as always. But it is Kat who we it's chose, and she is with Ai. What can the fans expect from you more? To Kat, sealing today's men means that you are up for the semifinals. What can the fans expect more from you to bring into this conference? Um, um, I think that uh, we can expect uh, to give more. Um, the team is still not where we want to be. We have so much more to offer. And um, we're just thankful to get the win today. Any message for your fans? Um, I just want to say happy birthday to Bea. <laughs> and um, thank you for all of their support. Thank you for um, continuing to watch our games. Um, we hope to make you guys proud and continue to support Chocomucho. Yes. Happy anniversary. There you have it, Kat Tolentino of the Chocomucho Flying Tide. And see you in later's game. That's Ait Insai yeah. with uh, Kat Tolentino, of course. Bakon, Bakon, Austria. May kinikilig. Oo. Oh, oh. Sabihin na natin, ha, si Bakon, oh, Austria. May pa-heart pa si Bakon. Yeah, yeah. Happy anniversary and <laughs> happy, I'm sure, are the fans of the Chocomucho Flying Titans with that sixth straight win. Happy birthday, of course, to Pea de Leon. Oh, happy birthday, Bay. Ayel Estraniero, Gemma Galanza, Signal versus Creamline, looking to bounce back itong Creamline after the loss in four sets against Cherry Tigo. That's happening in just a few minutes. All from the PCV Social Civic and Cultural Center in Bacaray, Locos Norte. Sangalan po ni Mosey Rovena. Ako po si Boom Gonzalez. Thank you for watching and keep it here on One Sports and One Sports Plus as we give you the exclusive coverage of your premier volleyball league.